Fireware, a European initiative for future internet, part one. Launched by the European Commission, Fireware aims to provide a framework for the development of smart applications in the field of Internet of Things. The Fireware platform is open and is based on software components called generic enablers that provide common functionality to the different sectors to facilitate their interoperability. Fireware enablers are classified into seven wide technical chapters that compose its reference architecture. These technical chapters are Cloud hosting, which offers generic enablers that comprise the foundation for designing a modern cloud hosting infrastructure called FileLab to develop, deploy and manage future applications and services, which include enablers of other chapters. Applications, services and data delivery, which support services that allow users to upload and download applications, as well as the development of more complex ones based on composition mechanisms. Security, which consists of the enablers which provide services for the compliance of the main security requirements of the applications, such as authentication, authorization and trustworthiness. Interface to networks and devices, which defines interfaces to run an open and standardized communication infrastructure, allowing the exchange of information between devices with constrained resources. Advanced web-based user interface, which offers capabilities for improving the development of applications that include interactive 3D graphics, immersive interaction with the real and virtual world via augmented reality, and many more. Internet of Things enablement, which covers advanced functions for connecting devices using standard communication protocols or distributed across a large number of networks. In particular, it allows the integration of constrained resources devices with the following chapter. Data Context Management, which facilitates the development of innovative applications that require gathering, publication, processing and exploitation of big data in real time. An important generic enabler of data management is the Publish Subscribe Context Broker, which allows the publication, updating and subscription of context information. This is a key component for implementing IoT solutions. We will see an example of collecting information from various sources to send data to FileLab, but first we are going to describe how to believe instances of a fireware component like Context Broker. The instantiation procedure in FileLab consists of three phases. Registration, configuration of security settings to enable communication from external machines and configuration of the instance deployment. The first phase of the process consists of registration in FileLab through the link shown. To do this, select the Sign Up option. Then click on the Request Community Action button and fill in the form to apply an account that will permit you to use the FileLab Cloud resources. Once registered, clicking on the Cloud tab makes a window appear in which you can launch, modify and delete the different instances of the enablers created on the platform. The second phase of security settings involves the following actions. Generation of a key to access the instances safely. Creation of a security group that includes the ports which will use the instance. Assignment of a public IP. In the Compute menu of the cloud window, select the options Security, then Key Pairs, then Create Key Pair, and add a name for the key. This key must be saved for later use. After that, in the same security menu, select the options Security Groups, then create security group and specify a name and a description. To specify and open the ports of the instance that will be deployed, you must add the necessary rules to the security group. Each rule needs a protocol, source port and destination port. Select the menu Security, then Floating IPs, then Allocate IP to Project and choose an available public IP. Once you have registered and configured the aspects of security, start the configuration phase of the instance deployment. Select the menu Compute, then Images. Find an image, for instance, and press Launch. The first step of instance configuration in the cloud consists of specifying its name and associated resources. 
Note that these resources are limited by the capability of your FiLab account. Insert the key pair and security group created previously. Select one of the networks available to connect the instance. It is possible to modify the startup configuration of the virtual machine, but you should not make changes until you have advanced knowledge about the platform. Once you review the summary of the instance deployment, click on Launch Instance to finish. The deployment of the instance can be displayed on the menu Compute, then Instances. As can be seen, it has a private IP. It only remains to associate a public IP to the instance deployed to communicate with it. To do this, go to the menu Security, then Floating IPs, then Actions, then Associate IP, and associate the public IP with the private IP.